after yesterday, we had a nice massage, we went and did cryo, uh, Riley brought some dinner for me to the track which was uh, very lovely, and then I went home and I slept, and I slept horribly. I woke up at 3.30 and I just couldn't get back to sleep, so I'm working on about four hours of sleep today, hoping to mask it all with some caffeine, nothing caffeine can't fix. And the first event this morning is the hurdles. We've limbered up, the body's actually feeling pretty good. So the plan is to just go hard and really try and find that, that quick hurdle rhythm. If I can find that, it should be a really quick time. Let's get it. I got out and just the fatigue in the legs meant my hips were just getting dragged down to the ground. But we made it to the finish line, we didn't hit too many hurdles, and now we're on to the discus. The plan for discus is to open at 40 meters, build on the second throw, go crazy on the third throw, and hopefully hit my target of 42 meters. Discus was a little bit tricky today. I I just got really scared in the circle and I forgot how to throw. And my first one was 37 meters. Second one was 40 meters, which which should have been my first throw. And then the third one, I just uh, I touched the circle with my foot uh, as I reversed and it was a foul. So I'm left with 40 meters, which is that slip up that we built up yesterday, which means the next three events we really need to make sure we're on to keep this qualifier in check. just finished the warm-up for the pole vault. It was a bit of a tricky warm-up because I've crashed off the caffeine that I had this morning, but obviously I can't stay caffeinated all day long. So the plan was to just get through the warm-up without caffeine. And then once I've finished the warm-up, which I've done now, I'm gonna have my lunch, start to load up on caffeine and be ready to go by the time we are getting into the competition.
The pole vault has gone really well. This is the last event where the whole decathlon can fall apart and it fell apart for me in Tokyo where I failed out. So I jumped four meters, no, I jumped five meters, which uh, is that mark that I put down which would be like an awesome mark. And now we've got two events to go. We have the javelin, which is all about just staying long and really putting the body uh, through the javelin and then of course the 1500 but hopefully hopefully we are we are set for this qualifier now I just need to make sure that I stay focused and, and get these next two events right but uh, there's nothing disastrous that can happen now Just calculating the point meters. score, I ended up with 56.75, so a couple meters down on where I wanted to be, and that means I need to run faster in the 1500. So we're doing the point score. I reckon it's around 4.44 or quicker that I need to run to qualify for the Commonwealth Games and the World Championships. It's obviously doable, but I'm extremely fatigued. Extremely fatigued. I feel depleted. I have had a ton of caffeine and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. The time is 4.44 that we have to beat. I'm gonna try and stick to some of the boys that are aiming for around 4.30 and just hold on as long as I can. But I don't know what my body's gonna do. It's one of those uncertain things where I'm really hoping everything just holds on until after the race and we can get over the finish line and see a time quicker than 4.44 but uh, with 10 events into a decathlon, we don't know we don't know what's going to happen. So all I can do is go out there, do my absolute best, and see see where we end up. On your marks. So the last event of the athletes, 422 is underway. We did it. I qualified for the World Championships and the Commonwealth Games in my season opening competition. And coming into this competition, I knew that it was possible. But the two days were long and tiring and grueling and there were highs and there were lows. And that's what I love about the decathlon. There is no two competitions that are the same. There is a unique story that comes out of each and every one and this is one with a fairy tale ending. They don't all end like this, unfortunately, but I'm gonna savor this moment and really take it in. And I, I could not have started my season any more perfectly than a qualifier for the two major championships coming up because now 
I get to prepare exactly as I want. I get to do the competitions that I want to do, I get to do the training that I want to do, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the World Championships and the Commonwealth Games later this year.